old-fashioned push lawn mowers are great for small urban and suburban lawns, but they don't cut the mustard for rural and ex-urban homeowners. Ride-on mowers are the standard for keeping large lawns beautiful and tidy. Riding mowers come in all shapes and sizes, commercial-grade zero-turn mowers, compact rear engine designs, high-tech electric models, and more. Finding the right fit for you can be a hassle. We have listed the top 5 riding lawn mowers and their key features, plus the things you need to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, legitpick.com. Number 5. Troy Build TB30 while it's hard to find a riding mower that can truly be considered budget-friendly, the Troy Build TB30 is one of the most affordable models on the market. If you buy directly from Troy Build, it retails for around $1,800, while retailers like Home Depot and Tractor Supply Company sell them for just a hair under $2,000. It features a 30-inch cutting deck which is perfect for lawns that hit that rear middle ground for being too big for a push mower to be practical but not quite big enough to justify buying a 42 or 46-inch lawn tractor. The deck is designed to easily transition from a traditional side discharge to mulching grass to make it easy to refeed your lawn with ultra-fine clippings. It also has a 6-speed manual transmission, so you can set the forward or reverse speed that best suits your yard and go. The body of the mower features a slim, compact design that's great for garages and tool sheds on the smaller side. Since the engine is mounted on the rear of the lawn mower, you'll have a better line of sight which is great for seeing things like sticks and rocks that need to be removed and watching out for pets and children who might be nearby. And just because the engine is smaller doesn't mean it skims on power. With 10.5 horsepower, you'll be able to pull garden carts, speeders, sprayers, and other implements to tackle every outdoor chore. Number 4. Greenworks Pro 60V 42-inch Crossovers Zero Turn Lawn Mower Allowing you to zoom up and down medium-sized lawns of up to 2.5 acres at 8 miles per hour. The Greenworks Pro Crossover's riding lawn mower is our choice for the best electric riding mower. The unit can turn on a dime to mow clean and straight 42-inch widths of lawn at a time. Plus, it has a padded high back seat with back support and armrest for users' comfort as well as USB charging port in case your phones run out of juice and a cup holder for your beverage. The riding lawn mower can be fully recharged in just 90 minutes and it features bright dual LED headlights so you can see clearly in low light conditions. Whether you have straight terrain or rolling hills with slopes of up to 15 degrees, this mower can cut the grass with ease thanks to its large 20-inch tires. While the price is an investment, the mower is protected by a 4-year limited warranty. Number 3. Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 The Cub Cadet Ultima ZT1 nabbed our pick for the best zero-turn mower you can buy. It's equipped with a 23-horsepower Kawasaki twin-cylinder engine and a hydrostatic transmission for easier operation and enough power to handle steep inclines and large yards. The frame is made of tubular steel for durability and strength and is painted with a corrosion-resistant power coat to prevent rust and damage from the elements. The 11-gauge stamped steel deck comes in sizes from as small as 42 inches up to 54 inches to make short work of just about any size lawn, and it can be adjusted to 15 different cutting heights for perfect results all season long. The seat and lap bars are fully adjustable and features ergonomic designs for more comfortable long-term use, while the seat suspension system provides a smoother ride across rough terrain. Like the name implies, the 0-inch turn radius means you can pivot in place when you need to, making it easy to maneuver the lawn mower around obstacles like small trees and lawn ornaments or oddly shaped sections of your yard. Number 2. Husqvarna YTH18542 Hydrostatic Riding Lawn Mower the Husqvarna YTH18542 hydrostatic lawn mower is easy to use and safe too, thanks to its pedal-operated system. The model allows you to keep both hands on the ergonomic steering wheel at all times for maximum safety, so you'll always be in control. Plus, with a 16-degree turning radius, it provides a much tighter turn than some other non-zero turn mowers, saving you time as you go up and down the lawn. Its mid-height seat is comfortable and adjustable, so you can even mow while going in reverse. Though its wheels are sturdy and grippy, they won't damage your lawn even on damp days. Plus, in addition to a 3-year warranty for any bumper-to-bumper -bumper damage, there are plenty of accessories that you can add to your machine, including a mulch kit, tire chains, and snow blower so you can use it throughout the seasons. Number 1 Ryobi RY48111 100AH 38-inch electric riding mower It may surprise some people, but our top pick is this battery-powered model from Ryobi. 
The Zero Emissions model easily matches gas mowers in terms of power, cutting through thick grass with ease while demonstrating impressive maneuverability. Plus, it's fume-free and practically silent, generating only minimal noise. The Ryobi electric mower has a 38-inch deck and its 48-volt batteries can run for 2.5 hours per charge, allowing you to cut to up to 2.5 acres in a single session. The two-blade deck has 12 different cutting heights. The mower offers convenient features like cruise control, LED headlights, and USB charging. There are no belts, spark plugs, or filters, making it easier to maintain than a traditional riding mower. Our only complaint, the seat gets uncomfortable if you're mowing for long periods, and it doesn't have a mulch setting. Still, if you're in the market for a reliable ride-on mower and ready to switch to a battery-powered model, this is your best bet. How do you decide which riding mower to buy? Assuming you have a budget in mind, the first thing you need to do is find out how big your lawn is. You can either find your lot size on your memorandum deeds if you've bought your house, or you can check your city's website to see if you can request lot measurements if you're renting. If your lot measures about an acre, you'll be able to use a 30-inch or 42-inch cutting deck without any issues. For lawns up to 2 acres, a 42 or 46-inch deck is ideal. And if your lot is over 2 acres, you can get a mower with up to 72-inch cutting deck to handle larger areas. The transmission type is also important. Many newer models have what is known as a hydrostatic drive. This means that they operate similar to how cars drive. You push the pedal and it moves forwards or backward. The harder you push, the faster you go. This makes it easier to learn how to drive, but that also makes the mower more expensive. More stripped-back models have variable speed manual transmissions, which allow you to set and forget your speed so you can focus on paying attention to the obstacles and people who may be nearby. And finally, you'll want to consider the power source for your new riding mower. Gasoline engines are far more common, but there is now a wider variety of battery-powered models to choose from. The perks of a gas engine is that you'll get near-infinite runtimes and a bit more power for handling steep inclines and rough terrain. The downsides are dealing with exhaust emissions and maintenance that can be a time and money sink. Electric models don't need engine maintenance, so you save a bit of money in the long run, but they usually have a maximum runtime of about an hour, which means you may have to plan your mowing over several days if you have a larger yard. How big of a yard do I need for a riding mower? Riding mowers are best suited for yards measuring one acre or larger. A model with a 42-inch cutting deck is great for mowing up to 2 acres, so if you have more land than that, you'll want to spring for a 46, 54, 60, or 72-inch cutting deck. If you're right on the threshold, you can get what's known as a mini rider. They usually have compact bodies for easier storage and 30-inch cutting decks to make short work of lawns that are just a touch too large for a push mower. Final verdict. The Ryobi 48V brushless electric riding lawn mower is a top choice among riding lawn mowers thanks to its 2.5-hour runtime powerful performance, and ease of maintenance. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys in the next one.